What's up guys, Steve Chen here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, the winch post is leaning to the boat. And if you check it out here, it's no longer safe if you're driving with such a trailer. So in this video, I will show you how I remove the old piece and replace it with a new winch seat here. The first step is to remove the old one. So let's try it. Oh, it's, it's not possible as you can see. Let me try this one. No. So I guess we have to break it. Gladly. I've got this cutter. We can either cut the bolt itself or cut the metal piece here. Let's try cut the bolt. Okay. So it's gonna fall off. Better be prepared for that. So first we make sure we don't break the line, the power line. Put it somewhere else. Maybe hold it back on here. So before cutting the other side of the bolt, we're making sure to disconnect the power line inside here okay okay that's one same for the other side Now we can pull the line out. Okay. And then the light. Okay, completely disconnected here. That's why we hook it here. All right. So the next step is to tape the, I suppose, ground line here with the electric tape. Same for the other side. To make it more secure, we put more tape here. Same for the other side. And then the light itself. Okay. 
is the transparent tape. Okay, to check the connection, you want to turn on the light here and check the light. See, it's good, but maybe this is not secure enough. I'll put more wrapping around it to secure it in the future. Now it's time to install the seat itself. It comes with two different sizes. U bolts, 2 inch and uh, 3 inch wide. However, none of this fits on my trailer. You can see the 2 inch one is too narrow and the 3 inch one is too wide. Actually, my trailer tone is like 2.5 inch wide. I looked it up online, I couldn't find one that exactly fits my trailer. However, the bolt diameter it's only 0.3 inch instead of the half inch that comes with the seat. I think it may not be secure to use the 0.3 one online. So I was thinking about to use the 3 inch wide U bolt and uh, kind of put some spacer here. Gladly I was able to find something like the nut and washer from Home Depot. So if you put it here, you can see it fits pretty well. And the pieces, I'll put the link down in the description if you need it. However, with the nut and washers on, you cannot put it in. You have to put it in first and then put the nuts and washer on. Right. So now it's time to put the last pieces on. The nut itself is a lock nut, so it's good by itself. The washer, the nut. Very secure. Let's put the other side on. Before installing this piece onto the seat, I want to put the winch on so it's easier for the later steps. It's very straightforward, so I'll leave this part to you guys and skip it. All right, now it's time to put everything together. First step, put the bolt here. Make sure it sits in and then put our spacers on. Same for the other side. All right. So because of the weight of this piece, it's not easy for a single person to hold everything down and put every pieces on. So I would suggest you find the best position here and put the Bolt in first, like here. Check the location. This is good. The other side. All right. So now it's much easier to hold everything together here. Very secure. So the last step is to adjust the angle of this piece to make the roller above the ring. The reason for that is you want the strap to go under and hold the boat on the trailer tightly. If you go above, there's no security, like the boat can go over the roller on highway when you're braking. So we may need to move this boat to the fourth hole instead of the second. Let's start. I 
think it should be good. Alright. This is a three quarters inch socket. It's good enough, as you can see here. Now everything's good. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and uh, find this helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.